Hey folks, it's Dan with DisneyInfinityCodes.com, and the big exciting news of Disney Infinity Next has just dropped, and we've got all kinds of exciting and interesting news to report and share. But for a lot of people in countries not in America, they're having a hard time watching the video stream in its entirety. So we're going to repost it and allow you to watch it right now. Hello, and welcome to the first edition of Disney Infinity Next. We're trying something new this year that we hope you're really going to enjoy. We'll be sharing information about upcoming plans, as well as giving you a peek behind the magic from the people who helped bring Disney Infinity to life. In 2015, talented storytellers from every corner of the Walt Disney Company brought us new adventures from Marvel superheroes, taught us all about our emotions in Inside Out, and introduced us to new characters from a beloved galaxy far, far away. And we're happy to announce that Disney Infinity was, for the second year in a row, the number one game in the Toys to Life category. The community that's formed around Disney Infinity continues to amaze us. You guys are truly some of the most creative and dedicated fans a team could ask for. And as you guys know, when our community speaks, we listen. One of the most frequent requests we've received from fans is to extend the life of our starter packs. We'll be releasing new play sets and content updates throughout the year to Disney Infinity 3.0 based on the biggest events coming from the Walt Disney Company. Now, we won't announce all the new content today, but we can say that there will be one new playset from each of the four core brands at the Walt Disney Company, Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. You can expect more characters and content coming to Disney Infinity 3.0 without having to buy a new starter pack. Ultimately, the 3.0 edition will be the largest collection of content ever released inside of a Disney game. In other words, if it's happening at the Walt Disney Company, it's happening inside Disney Infinity. And all of it is compatible with the 3.0 starter pack and base. So let's take a look at some of the great content that you can expect to appear inside of Disney Infinity this year. Now, let's get things started by jumping into Zootopia. We were really excited when the talented team behind Zootopia invited us to read the script for their new film. You know, there's nothing like the smell of a new Infinity figure right That's off true. the line, oh, man. Freshly baked. Mm. Oh. Both Nick and Judy bring new styles to the game that we haven't really uh, focused on with other characters. Careful, Carrots. They can smell a cop a mile away. It's just like they've walked off the screen from the movie, yeah. and they're in this kind of all-immersive world, oh, yeah. you know, that just feels like Zootopia. Judy is this really good combination of someone who's quick um, and agile, but also really powerful. She's got the legs, yeah, you know, like she's got the what? kick move, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. And additionally, she can use her trank gun to stun enemies. Nick has this fun special move where he brings in his good friend, and he comes in dressed in his elephant costume that he uses in the film. And he's got a big popsicle stick, which is also a reference from the film. We don't have a character who is kind of this melee powerhouse, but can also have someone come help him out in combat. Uh, we haven't done a character like that, so Nick brings some new things to the table. Now you can take these characters that we've come to love and really personify them and enjoy them in these incredible worlds. When the movie hits theaters this March, we know that you'll love the concept and characters as much as we do. And we hope that you'll agree that Judy and Nick are a perfect fit for the ever-expanding roster of Disney animated characters inside of Disney Infinity. Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde will be available early in March of 2016. And make sure that you check out Walt Disney Animation Studios' new film, Zootopia, in theaters at the same time. As a lot of you may know, this May, Marvel Studios will be releasing the latest in the Captain America film series, Marvel's Captain America Civil War. In celebration of their new film, our team thought it would be best to deliver a new type of gameplay experience that thematically fit in with the action-packed nature of this film. The result is the Marvel Battlegrounds playset, where we are introducing the brawler-style game genre into Disney Infinity. Now, let's take a look at Marvel Battlegrounds. Everyone's always wondered who would win in a fight between Spider-Man and Thor. Well, now you can find out for yourself. So the storyline was something that Marvel and Avalanche had already been sort of passing around, trying to figure out who is going to be our ultimate sort of villain. So when the story starts out and you quickly encounter 
other heroes and villains. They all look and act and fight like themselves, but you will soon realize some of them are robotic duplicates. I would just imagine that Loki and Ultron are probably involved in this. Battlegrounds is bringing four player to Disney Infinity for the first time. And we knew from the outset that we wanted it to be different than all the other playsets. It's all about four people on the couch together, battling each other at the same time. It's fantastic. It's chaotic. It's a lot of trash talking. Elbowing each other, talking smack. Just that camaraderie that you get when you're playing four players in the same screen. Everybody at the same time is just great to see. We thought, yeah, this is a great way to answer our fans' requests, get as many characters together as humanly possible, and hopefully tie it all around a gameplay style that we thought would be the most fun. One of the huge challenges with this playset is making all the Marvel characters compatible with Battlegrounds. Being able to take the full roster of all the Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel characters and kind of reimagining them a little bit so that one play style, a very fast character, didn't outbalance a heavy character. We wanted to make sure that this was a great experience for everybody. So the better you can balance the characters, the more fun the players are ultimately going to have. And I think we've done an outstanding job. There's so much personality, there's so much action and humor that comes to the, the characters. One of these days, I'm going to find out what a raccoon is, and it better be good. I'm excited that we've got four new Marvel characters coming in. We're introducing a new Captain America who's inspired by Civil War. Avengers assemble. He uses his shield a lot. He gets in close, but he's constantly throwing the shield, picking it up, doing backflips, and his special attack is awesome. He calls in a helicarrier strike. That giant beam comes towards him, and he uses his shield to deflect it and hit everybody around. Then we have Black Panther. He's very agile. He knows martial arts. <laughs> The Black Panther is ready to stalk again. He's a melee powerhouse, but he's really good at stunning and juggling his opponent. You see him moving around the arena really quickly and fluidly. Then we have Ant-Man. It's a very different character from everything else that we had in the game. Very defensive character, but he, because of his size and, and his ability to shrink, he can get into a fight and surprise people. We have Vision. A fast character. So he has a move where he'll phase into the ground and then pop up underneath and, and uppercut the guy into the air and he can perform an air combo out of that. And that's a new gameplay feature we've never done. And it gives you new options as a player. There's a, a real mix across the board and that's why no matter what style of gameplay you like playing, there's a character to match that style. The arenas were actually one of the characters themselves. There are eight total arenas in Marvel Battlegrounds that you'll be able to play. And the idea behind the story is that it starts on Earth and has a story escalation the locations get more and more supernatural and surreal. So we go from train yards in New York to the big Wakanda mine, out to the moon, and then to nowhere, and then ultimately culminating with a fight against a giant version of Ultron that he's constructed. Some of them have traps, some of them have changing floors. All levels take a massive amount of damage. It was one of the neat things that we wanted to do. You see destruction that takes you from one place of the arena to a completely different location. The environmental destruction, seeing the new characters come to life, seeing the new super moves happen, or just seeing the characters that you had from Disney Infinity 2.0, and now trying them out in Battlegrounds, they're all brand new. I am Groot! When we saw a lot of that stuff for the first time, it was just electrifying, and this was the best playset that Disney Infinity's ever had. We're excited to share with you now the world premiere of the Marvel Battlegrounds launch trailer. showed up for this fight, Thor. Let's go. Disgusting mortal. Try this on for size. You messed with a wrong end. This is likely a trap, but we must follow. of a king. Whoa, buddy! Maybe the atmosphere of this cornball planet has done something to you, but whatever you just said makes no sense! <laughs>
Even more new Marvel characters will be released this year, and all of them will be compatible with the Marvel Battlegrounds playset. But more on that on a future version of Disney Infinity next. Coming to theaters this April is director Jon Favreau's live-action remake of the classic Disney animated film, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book has always been near and dear to my heart, and we were inspired to look back at the classic version of the film and do our take on one of its most iconic characters. Baloo got a lot of attention from people on the team, specific animators. We're really excited about him. His personality is a perfect fit for what we're trying to do. He's so laid back and fun loving. I think he's all the things you think of when you think about Baloo uh, and, and encapsulated in our game. He's got a palm tree he can pull out and you know attack characters with. He throws all sorts of fruit. We wanted him to have a sense of rhythm with his body, dancing, shadow boxing, that sort of thing. He uses his belly and his, and, his, and his butt to attack characters. So, you know, I think for kids, there's some funny stuff there. In the figure, we want you to imagine that, that he's singing Bare Necessities. It's just all about that persona that he has. He was so much fun to work on. We just ended up with, a, I think, a very successful character. He does uh, bring kind of a new sensibility to the roster of characters in Disney Infinity. And that's our update for spring of 2016. But before we go, we wanted to say thank you to our fans, old and new. When you share your memories online with us, it means so much to all of the artists, animators, programmers, designers, and producers that work tirelessly to bring you new and unique Disney Infinity experiences. We hope that you enjoyed being able to take a look behind the magic in this first episode of Disney Infinity Next. We'll see you next time where we'll give you an update on some of our favorite fish and take a peek through the looking glass. And remember, the only place to play with all of your favorite Disney, Marvel, Pixar, and Star Wars characters together is right here inside Disney Infinity. Thanks for watching. The core of Infinity will always be about imagination, about creativity, and playing the way you want to play. You create your own experience, your own story. To have our characters live beyond the movie is awesome. For us to now have an opportunity to build content, tell stories, put characters out there that inspire the new generation is really an honor. Now we have all four of our major brands and franchises together between Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, and Marvel. And now we're really starting to push the boundaries of different genres and what we can do with Disney Infinity platform. I think the thing that excites me the most about working on Disney Infinity is all the things to come. Moving forward, I think the sky's the limit in terms of what that can mean for the player and where we can go. That's what Disney Infinity is all about.